Fellas, this is a test ride that, as far as I'm concerned, never has to end. I'd ride this thing forever. One of my biggest regrets as a motocross racer is ever switching from the CR500 to the 250 and the four strokes. I only did because of the times, but looking back, I wish I had stayed the course because this has become my all-time favorite motorcycle. Everything else pales in comparison to the CR500 for a lot of different reasons I'm not gonna get into in this video, but let me focus on this bike for a second. This is an absolutely pristine, 100% original stock CR500, the best year ever made in the last year. This is a 2001 year model. They made these from 1985 until 2001. The engine crank and, and pretty much every component on the motor is interchangeable for those 16 years. But they tuned this thing to perfection and they made it really easy to ride. And in, in, unless, unless you've had the good fortune, unless you've had the good fortune to ride one of these badass machines, one of these late model 2001s, I'm gonna describe it as, uh, pardon the expression, but almost four stroke like in its power. It's very torquey right off idle and you can pop a wheelie and, and it'll ride like burp, 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 just ride it right through the gears and rear wheel. That's in large part due to the port timing, ignition timing, the, the jetting, the, the exhaust, the length of the, 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 the stinger, the huge expansion chamber and extra long baffle on it. It's tuned to be easy to ride because one of the biggest complaints the Mirror Mortals had was the ability to hang on to one of these for 20 minute moto. The, this has the best suspension they ever had on a CR500. This is a 2001 generation suspension. The suspension was, was uh, largely improved. The um, ease of, of riding and port tuning on this thing w was, was refined to the nth degree by the year 2001. So this bike, I said this bike's 100% original. Uh, I'm gonna tell you that that's not 100% true. The rear tire has been replaced. Uh, it'd been ridden mostly up and down the driveway. Uh, uh, here and from the fellow we, we, we purchased it from. If you look at the front tire, you can see the date code on that is 2001. That is the original front tire, okay? That's the original front fender, original radiator shrouds, original seat cover, original rear fender, original number plates. Everything's original on this bike. The, the only thing we did to it besides wash it and wax it was touched up where the boots had rubbed on the side of the frame rails right here. So that was touched up right there on both sides. Uh, but the frame, the frame paint up on the steering stock here and on, uh, everywhere else is the original paint. The silencer is the original silencer. The chain is the original chain. Um, this side of rumors I've heard of ones that are that still exist in the crate. I haven't seen one, but I heard they're still out there. This is about as good as it gets for an original 01. Um, the fork lowers, these are our brand new NOS Honda fork lowers because the original ones had turned like a shade of yellow just because of the construction of the of the plastic so those were changed by the previous owner not from wear but just because they turned a little bit yellow so just an absolutely gorgeous pristine original cr500 one of the things i highly recommend you do when you're looking at a used dirt bike uh not so important on one this clean that's never been ridden off-road uh or on a motocross track it's been ridden up and down dirt roads maybe a couple of times but if you look at the look at the bottom of the frame rail on this thing you can see it is absolutely perfectly straight there's not a single ding anywhere in it on either side and i want you to take a close look at the expansion chamber on this because we have another 01 in our inventory here that's as nice as this one but it doesn't have the original exhaust this is the original exhaust guys and it's never been repainted when we went into the shop here, I said to the guys, do not paint this pipe. Do not touch this pipe. This pipe is, is worth a lot of money. It's, it's the, one of the few original perfect exhaust pipes I've seen on a CR500. I don't see a, a, a ding anywhere on this. And, and your, your hands can see, feel things that your eyes can't. There are no dings in the pipe that my hands can feel. Um, just a kick-ass machine. The foot pegs look brand new. The shifter looks brand new. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful piece in, in there. These are getting really, really hard to come by. Junior, uh, is there anything you'd like to add about this bike? Yeah, the other 01 in our inventory that I think is listed right now that bid up uh, well over 20,000. It bid up to 23,500 and didn't meet the reserve, the, the other one. It didn't, it didn't have the stock pipe 
and most of the low hour bikes that we've gotten our hands on in the last year and i think we have which is a handful the very few out of the hundreds and hundreds of motorcycles we've sold maybe a half a dozen were, were this nice almost all of them uh leading up to this last batch that we bought from raffi uh had aftermarket pipes and silencers original pipe and silencers are that's the real unobtainium on these bikes, guys. Aside from having a mint tank and a mint frame and a, and a bike with no time on it. The is pristine, not all worn out. I'm just having it never be, you know, there's no, there's no bolt-ons. It's bone stock. Just a beautiful piece. It even has both of the stickers on, on the swing arm, which usually are power washed off. The first time a racer power washes their bike, they blow those right off. So uh, original sprocket shows little or no wear. Uh, the front tire is, is 90 plus percent. That's original front tire. Now we could easily have pop, popped the new tire on there, but look at the date code, guys. The 22nd week of 2000, 2200. That's the original front tire. If you're looking for one of it, or, or the cleanest original stock CR500 for sale in the world today, um, this, is, this one's on the podium for sure. Uh, it's more original than the other one that we have. That, and I'm talking about the exhaust primarily. They're both extremely low hour bikes. They're gonna be expensive, but they're worth it. These are, they're getting three to 6,000 just for a, a beat up old motor on Craigslist and, and rolling turds are around five. You could never ever turn a rolling turd into this. It's just not possible. Once all the metals are worn out, um, you can restore a bike, but they're only original once. This is, this is an original fresh cucumber. One of the other Calling cards of a mint unmolested bike. Check this out. See, see the Honda um, logo on the frame? 99 out of, nine, out of, 99 of 100 of them, that, that's gone for whatever reason. I don't know why. I guess they fall off. These are the original handlebars too, guys. It's got a Renthal crossbar pad on it. These are the original bars. These are the original grips, the original Honda Motor Company grips. Uh, just, It's unheard of to find any 20-year-old race bike in this shape. A CR500, well, it takes it to another level. Good luck bidding on it. Buy it with confidence. This is a pristine piece. Thanks for watching. Junior and I are about ready to load up our CR500s. We are, and if you're if you're wondering, hey, are these still competitive by modern standards? The answer is a resounding hell yes. Uh, Neville Bradshaw, just go online, punch in Honda CR500 on YouTube, and sort the videos high to low, and you'll see a, a, the first video, 17 plus million views, is Neville Bradshaw in the UK winning a amateur championship race over there against the, the fastest amateur riders. In on the continent over there, and these guys are fast, very fast uh, on a on a eighty nine. I think it was an eighty nine CR five hundred, um, and the, the, I think the fifth or fourth most popular video is yours truly standing behind the camera, a junior on his eighty nine five hundred hole shot and leading for several laps and then crashing and finishing second on his eighty nine five hundred against a field at two thousand twenty four fifty. So yes, these motors are competitive. Yes, this has more power than a brand new four fifty. We'll prove that to you on the dyno. I've done it before. I've proved it on a dyno. 55 rear wheel horse on a basically stock CR500, mine, and my YZ450 with a 500 big bore kit only put down 54. So yes, it is more powerful than a new 50. Is it easier to ride than a new 450? No. Are there some situations where a 450 might be easier to ride? Yes. But if you're looking for house, ripping your house off the foundation, rip roaring, rock roosting fun power in a sound unlike no other open your checkbook and buy one of these the other thing too is these are going up in value the 450 as soon as you roll your 450 your your, your rocks in 450 out of the dealership for 13 g with tax and everything as soon as you sling a leg over it and turn it over it's going to be worth five grand four grand less than that the new bikes drop in value like a rock and they're worth four to five grand in a couple of years you take care of this thing this is your 401k it's money in the bank because most of them got destroyed. Good luck bidding. God bless America.